hey guys welcome back this is mokami the environment list so we talked about the envir the eia environmental impact assessment i told you you that is very what it is and who does it uh so i want to talk to you about um, why it is done so why is it important or why is it so much given this all this attention why is it um, why is it important why is an ea important so one of the reason why it is important is because like i have always said we need to develop sustainably sustainable development so the moment we are developing we need to ensure that we are developing in such a way that we have not altered the environment we do not want to develop and destroy the environment alter the environment we do not want to develop and degrade the environment we want to make sure that the environment we have today the benefits we are getting from the environment we can be able to get them even tomorrow and the day after tomorrow and even our generations the future generations will have access to the same benefits benefits like water benefits we get from natural resources benefits we get from the forest benefits we get from different species of plants and animals so one reason eia is done and the main reason is to ensure sustainability when it comes to development and we said sustainable developing is developing in a manner that does not alter the environment the next one of course like the name suggests is to identify the impacts of that project what is this how what impacts what are the consequences what are the effect that will be felt either positive or negative as a result of implementation of the proposed project this project is coming up you want to do your quarry what are the effects that is going to cause to the land you know impacts on the land landscape how are you going to alter the landscape of of that area impacts of natural resources such as water the forests you get biodiversity that we have how are you going to alter them the impacts that are going to be felt on on these natural resources okay we also have the impacts the social environment you you know we have a environment is the center for the social the social aspect there is the economic aspect we have the political aspect so the environment has part in the three main pillars so we want to see does this report have social impacts does it have economic impacts on the community because you don't, you also you want to bring up a development that has that is going to uplift the social status of people you want to elevate poverty by 2030 we want to we want our people to be economically empowered so you must make sure that your the benefit you're bringing up is socially acceptable economically viable as well as politically acceptable and so it should also cater for the environment okay so then the other reason or the other importance or the other objective of an eia is to make a plan or provide a way a path provide a plan we call it a plan on how we are going to reduce on the impacts that we have identified remember we have identified impacts that are going to happen as the project is being if it's a house as during construction during operational phase of that project and as well as the decommissioning phase of the project so this third point is coming up with a plan on how we are going to mitigate the impacts how we are going to reduce the effect of these impacts or even how we are going to adapt to the impacts now this plan shows us how how are we going to to live after the impacts have been identified and have happened for example so there is an environmental management plan that is really developed it is part of the report and this identifies ways to minimize or to handle to deal with the impacts that we have identified and it is done for every impact 
like if we are doing quarry we have used the example of a quarry i want to do quarrying my piece of land and we said one of the impacts that has been uh, predicted or that can be thought of is risk of accidents sindio like ngombe inaweza toka kwa jirani ikujia kwa hiyo pit as we are doing the mining there can also be an accident where the the land the, the soil collapses and falls on the miners so if, how are we going to deal with such impacts they have not happened we are hoping they not happen but we can predict risk in that direction so how so how to mitigate how do we mitigate that by ensuring that we fence off the quarry area so that no cattle no children comes around the me isn't that a way of reducing the risk if the risk factor was 80% it is now at 40% we have tried to reduce the risk factor of that impact so that is mitigating or reducing or minimizing the effect of this so that is also developed and um, if the impacts are found to be so the negative impacts are found to be more than the positive impact then there are other things that can be done there uh, there is a way of handling such a report if the report is not acceptable within the nature of of the area what happens so that is a question we're going to answer in the next videos that comes by but at least now you understand why eaa is done okay these are the the reasons the reasons why an eaa should be done okay so i'll see you in the next video make sure to subscribe to this channel and um, share these videos share them with a friend tell people about this channel spread the gospel of this channel and let's create a gang let's create a tribe of people who care about the environment and we shall only do that if you subscribe to my channel check out other videos that i'm going to link uh, up here that i've tried to to promote so that you can see them all and i'll see you in the next